literally this morning just going for a quick potter around, uh, chuck some laws out and just see if I can pick up a bass. But it's an absolutely banging morning for it. There's predicted quite a bit of wind, um, but it seems like that's not here <laughs> at the moment. So uh, yeah, it's not such a bad thing. Visibility today in the water is, uh, well, it's extremely clear. So I'm hoping the uh, footage for the uh, cameras comes out pretty well. And I wasn't gonna actually come out today because I've done something to my shoulder and it's an old injury I'm nursing from the uh, from my time back in the army. And uh, it was like a torn um, labrum lesion or something like that. So I've had to have like screws put in them and they play up at times. So I literally just coated myself in deep heat this morning. So all, all I can smell now is deep heat and sun cream. So I'm gonna start off by uh, paddling around. I'm actually heading east. So if you're at Grev de Lec on your kayak and you wanna do a, a little session, then I've personally, I've not actually been out um, out west from Grev de Lec, but I usually paddle out east, head towards places like Crab A Point, stuff like that, and just, just have a little flick around. All these nice little coves that you're gonna meet up with uh, on the way to Sorrel Point they're all worth a bash so if you are heading out here to do a little bit of bassing or something try and hug the coastline as best you can so we're gonna just put her around here uh, that point that you can see right out there that's Sorrel Point so literally just pottering around this coastline hugging it um, and just flicking a few laws and that as we go along so that's gonna be today's session and it is literally one of them. I really do not care if I blank today. You might be able to see in the distance, I'm not too sure, uh, the Paternoster Reefs, about two miles out. I do intend to do a uh, video out there at some point, but the tides today are uh, a little bit too big to get out there. Shame, because the uh, conditions are ideal for it, but I don't fancy the paddle with my shoulder and that, so. Uh... Yeah, stick to inshore and I've got the Bixby with me today, but I'll be saving that mostly for the trolling. So I'm going to try and iron out this little niggly uh, shoulder strain that I've got going on at the moment. I hope it's nothing. So I thought a little bit of paddling might just do it a little bit of good because it's not painful, painful. It's just the, one of them feelings where you know they're saying not right. So just by uh, stretching it and that I should be right. Quite a lot of surface weed but it's absolutely flat as a pancake out here today i usually like it with a little bit of swell it's literally flat so i'm gonna try in the middle here between this head here which is usually where ras fish um, and all around here there's a few heads so i'm just gonna knock out a uh, top water law see if anything takes its fancy um, and then if not maybe just try a shallow diver or something like that and then pot around to the next bay yeah it's quite deep here it's 30 foot so it probably would have been better with a uh, softy so it's actually quite deep here but it's over like a reef system and there's a little bit of tide flowing so i've put on a uh, 30 gram savage gear Just gonna give that a go. Sink and draw method. It's like 40 foot here, where I've cast it's probably about 25. It's gonna be hard out here over the uh, over the high tide. But you never know. Try a little bit of vertical. up a good rash by doing this the water is so clear if I don't get a fish here after a couple of casts 
I'll just move around to the uh, next little cove bit. Give that a try. So I had a couple of chucks there, not, not a sausage. So uh, I'm gonna head in a little bit further inshore. But in here, um, a few more cave systems and uh, some nice ground actually. I mean, it's 20, 23 foot, 22 foot at the moment, getting shallower um, as I pull up to this little bay. So I'm gonna just try a little top water in and around here and uh, hopefully pick something up. Well, coming to a little cove now. Um, it looks absolutely ideal for a bit of top water action, but I don't know if you can see. There's weed everywhere on the surface, absolutely everywhere. So, top water in here is going to be a little bit difficult, I think, but I'll give it a couple of chucks and see. Got to bring it through all this weed. Never know. Look at that. <laughs> One cast. That's everything that's there. All that. So my plan is ruined. I think I could actually cross over it and uh, try very close inshore. There might be some fish sat right in. I'll give it a go. so quiet in here. I'm just going to lob a law to the shoreline there. Hopefully pick something up. A little less weed there. Nice one on the top water there. I thought it might be worth a little bash in here. And he's gone right in the weed, little bugger. He's not a bad fish, I don't think. Even though he's coated in weed. Oh, he's not a bad fish, but he's literally coated in weed. I've got him in the net, but I've also got a ton of weed in the net as well. I'm really sorry about the filming then, I only had one GoPro running. He's not a bad fish. For a little, I'm just gonna come in here and have a little flick. That's how much weed you got wrapped in. I've taken some of it out already. But I'm using uh, barbless hooks. All my hooks on the uh, kayak are barbless, so. Um, This should just slip straight out. All right, I got him in the water. I'll, I'll go off this uh, other GoPro, I think, for now. So guys, I didn't have this camera on before, but I've literally come in this bay. I was saying how weedy it was. And uh, I had one little chuck and I nailed one straight away. Nice bass. I'd, he's not a bad one.
See, it's handy like this if I just hold the net over the side because you can just leave him in the net, he recovers and you get a little bit of time to faff around like I'm doing now. Uh, I'm trying to get this hook out the uh, the net. It's the uh, rubber meshy net, but I don't mind. I've caught a fish, so catching the hook in the net doesn't bother me because they're all barbless, so it's literally a case of just chucking on there. Let's get a few snaps of this one. Chuck that paddle over there. It's handy just keeping the net, like I was saying, over the side with the fish in and uh, he can sort himself out of it. He isn't a bad fish at all. You know, for the first one of the day, really isn't a bad one. I'll get him up and uh, we'll have a quick look at him. So well chuffed with that, pretty much straight away. It's handy having a little net over the side because you can put him back in, hold him like this, give you guys a good look at him on the camera before putting him back. So uh, he is spending a lot of time between hooking and photos uh, in the water in the net, so he should go back fine. There's a little portion of his fin missing I've just noticed there. Something's maybe had a little nip at him. Not too sure what that is, but he looks like a soldier of a bass. He looks like a fighter with his war wounds, so uh, I know how that feels, so I'm going to chuck him back. Come on, bud. I think this one's just lazy. You're not staying with me all session. Just holding the bottom lip. There we go, he's biting me now. He's almost there. I'm going to try and send him off now. Yes. I knew he was just being stubborn. Call it fluky if you like. I'm chuffed with that. That's the blank saver now. Um, after the first bay so I'll get head round to the uh, to the next bay now oh that sun's out now you see how much shade I get in them uh, little coves Wow. This is an ideal spot there. I'm gonna creep up into here and then pass my way back across the bay like similar to what I did in the other bay. Uh, and just, uh, I'm gonna ping it in this area here. There's no weeds. I see I've come past the weed and I'm in the bay. But it's like eight foot, nine foot here where I am. Um, over there I presume it's just going to be like dips and stuff like that because it's all all rocky sort of ground oh, perfect just got to watch out with this reef behind me oh there we go oh that was a good take oh this could be a good one He's kiting this one. Jeez. Do not come off, mate. Gotta keep this line tight on there. Barbless hooks. Oh, I think he's a good one. Usually the good ones mess around like that a bit on the surface. Gotta keep this line tight. Gotta keep this line tight. Oh no. He's gone around that leaf. There he is. Well, similar to the first one. literally under the kayak, I heard him bang off it. Yes! Oh, first cast in that little cove. The second cove, same situation then. It's all about the coves this morning. Yeah. 
how cool is that? If you give them a little prod in the belly, sometimes they uh, flick their, their dorsal fin up for a photo. Okay, take my finger away, he's all right. <laughs> Pachinko 125, available at Mr. Fish. Check them out. Really good laws, especially uh, for this sort of stuff, like going in there shallower on the kayak and uh, chucking some top waters around. 125 is definitely one you want in your law box. That's two fish in and uh, two little coves that I've uh, ventured into. It's time to get him back in the water. Is he gonna go? Let's see. Yay! Look how clear the water is. Literally where I'm sat now on the kayak is pretty much where I pass my lure. So just heading out that second bay now. Um, gonna go and see if I can winkle out a couple of rats maybe. There is another lure I want to try out uh, whilst I'm rats fishing. Um, I did quite well on the last session and that's the uh, mega bass. Oh. Yay! There we go. Only a little one, but I tell you what, they don't half hit. It's a tiny wrasse, this. All right, mate, all right. Let's get you unhooked and put back. Now I'm trying for a, a bigger wrasse, but you can only catch what's down there. <laughs> and on this occasion, it's a, a nice little brown camo wrasse so off he goes back down oh. not a big one hit that didn't he oh a bit of red on this one oh we smashed the lot of pieces it's fallen to bits come on mate cough this hook up you can go back only a small one nice little patterns on him if he flaps he's gonna go in but that's the sort of fish that you'd expect to see grow to like five six pound maybe one day absolutely incredible some of the colors on these look at the tail if I fan it out you see all the blues and stuff like that there you go mate off you go Don't see why there wouldn't be a nice big one in here today. Couple of twitches, slow retrieve, keeping the lure on the bottom if I can, or well, as best I can. And then you should get that little rattle on the rod tip. It's gone quiet all of a sudden. That's right. Yes. Oh, that's a good one, I think. Feels better than the other two. Could be deceiving. Oh, no, it's a better one. But it's still small. <laughs> wee. Wee, wee, wee. All right, mate, all right. Let me just slacken off this and then uh, let's give everyone a quick look at you. He might jump out my hands. I can never get a good photo with Ras, but I don't care how small they are, how big they are. Oh, is he gonna go? They're so lively. Ah, bugger. Usually I'm wearing gloves, but I can't because my hands don't take kindly to it, but. There we go. Off you go, mate. You can go back early. It's that easy with that. Cast out, slow retrieve, couple of twitches, mega bass dark sleeper. Got absolutely slammed then. Damage report. Nothing.
So guys, just as I'm going along, I got the uh, Bixby on the go now. Um, I'm not fishing, not trolling at the moment. I'm just fascinated by how many jellyfish there are out here. I think I've I've uh, jinxed it now and I've gone past them all, but I've never seen so many. One there, one there. Not sure if you can see them with the glare. So many, just in this little patch. Oh, there's another one just gone past. There's another one. Absolutely mental how many there are. There's another one. And another one. I feel sorry for uh, anyone that's swimming around Greve de Lec today. There's one there, little one. Absolutely insane. Two there. Three, four, one over there. Five, six. And another one there. And another one there, look at that, that's a nice one. And another one. I'm getting carried away with these jellyfish. There's one more there, but I'm not pointing it out. Um, yeah, so going to uh, pop up to this next mark then. Uh, see if there's a bass on the reef. All right, let's get the uh, pachinko out there. There's a fish. I don't know if I got the camera on time. That little patch of weed just in front there fish jumped right on that so could be a mullet but I'm hoping that's a bass literally where my lure is now oh it's a bass and he just went for the lure go on he's going for it come on definitely a bass wasn't a big one I just need to get this camera sorted for you guys about right basically I'm just casting the top water in and around this area here and uh, there is a bass around literally as I cast out he jumped out the water and then uh, he went for the lure again wasn't a big fish I don't think he was anyway. Didn't look very big. He's right there. Right next to that weed. And there. So I'm going to put on a really small lure. This roll of uh, metals that I use um, on the kayak, these are like my kayak metals. Oh, got one in my finger as well. These aren't debarbed. <laughs> um, so I'm going to chuck one of these on I think I'll go with the uh, lighter one because I'm chucking it out towards reefs but essentially I've just got loads of these little casting jigs so I'm going to whack him on a lure clip if I need a heavier one I'll put a heavier one on but I think that might do the trick I'm going to be pinging a metal uh, towards this head here the tide's running around the back of it so I'm going to just lob it off to the side of the reef hopefully and uh, just work it just work it then bass seemed really finicky so I hope it oh, there we go I was just about to say they seem really finicky but I reckon they'd be up for a metal <laughs> I think this is the little bugger that was chasing me before. <laughs> He's tiny. Go on, mate. You're not net worthy. I had a feeling the little metals would do the trick. 
splashing me in the face. Look, that's how small the bass are there. There's loads of them though. Absolutely loads of them hammering the bait. <laughs> Let's go. Off he goes. Yep, there we go. Hit it on the drop, that. Probably about the same size, I think. Oh, little rafts. Hey, hey. Tiny little rafts. In and I'll troll all the way back in. Hopefully we can get that on the way in. Hopefully. heading back in now I'm absolutely busting for the toilet I can't hold it anymore so uh, I'm literally full steam ahead pretty much well chuffed with the uh, two top water fish uh, this morning and uh, that little bass on the metals as well that was quite fun anyway I hope you enjoyed that video if you enjoyed the video then hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel as well that'd be much appreciated until the next video tight lines catch you next time